many. In the dynamic landscape of medical and allied health training, one thing has remained uh, constant over the years, and that's the vital role of simulation, <laughs> and that's pronounced simulation. It stops the patients being used as guinea pigs and allows practitioners to focus on patients rather than having to try and mix teaching and healthcare, potentially distracting them from their uh, important roles, which are in both, in both areas. From the days of rudimentary anatomical models to the cutting edge technology of today, simulation has gone, undergone a remarkable evolution, revolutionizing the way um, medical and allied health professionals are trained. I mean, the ultimate goal of any training program is to assess whether learning is actually taking place. With digital training, you can actually do that for the first time. One of the things that we talk about in virtual reality headsets is eye tracking, for example. By using the sensory technology of a virtual reality headset, trainers can record eye movements to measure the levels of precision, attention and concentration of users during any given task. So you can see whether their eyes are looking at, for example, a syringe or um, a, a measuring tool, or if they're just looking in that general direction. Mannequins are now hyper-realistic. Some of them have hair sewn on, they sweat, they have pulses. I mean, these have changed from when I was training and you had the resuscians, which are still very good to do a, a certain task, but the, the true mannequin, the, the lifelike mannequins, they respond dynamically to interventions, they can re replicate vital signs and physiological responses with remarkable accuracy. The issue with these, though, is they're still one-on-one -on -one training and they come at a considerable cost to the university, the hospital or the college. Task trainers are completely different. We sometimes call them low fidelity trainers. And people talk about high fidelity and low fidelity as if high fidelity is always better, but it's not. Um, task trainers can complement a lot of training that you do in other areas and that's because you're learning a specific skill in that area for example suturing or giving a lumbar puncture for example uh, so these offer targeted practice opportunities that really sort of remove the rest of the uh, world to let the trainee focus on that one particular task The opportunities of uh, virtual reality are endless. Uh, it is perhaps the most groundbreaking advancement in medical and allied health stimulation because it seamlessly blends graphics, optics, haptics. Virtual reality simulations transport the trainees into immersive interactive environments that closely mirror real world scenarios. They can do intricate surgical procedures to assisting a mother in labor, uh, virtual reality technology offers unparalleled realism, which enables trainees to develop decision-making skills and spatial awareness in a safe yet challenging uh, setting. The challenges, though, include some lecturers who haven't used it before and they think they might be in front of a class showing the students how to use it, whereas in reality, they're still going to be the person with the knowledge, giving this knowledge to the students, but now the students have a modern tool to practice their um, tasks on. The field of medical and allied health simulation continues to evolve and really the stakes have never been higher. With advancements in technology driving unprecedented innovation, those who fail to embrace simulation risk being left behind in an ever-changing healthcare landscape. Patient safety and quality of care are paramount. The importance of robust medical and allied health training cannot be overstated. We ensure our simulations are always up to date and realistic by having frequent communication with our clients and our advisory board. At Virtual Medical Coaching, we're committed to empowering the next generation of medical and allied health professionals with the tools they need to succeed, helping educators and trainees alike making informed decisions about their training needs. For better education.